Worst case scenario, you're alone and your kid is five and full of energy. Your company already successfully shifted to working from home or you are a freelancer already working from home. All would work out fine if your toddler would not come every five minutes with a question or a request. Hungry, angry, lonely, sleepy, mommy I need to poo, mommy, daddy, I have millions of ideas. Yeah? Let me go pick Papu Mahi. Mommy. Mommy. And we all know. Writing code is not something that can take too many interruptions. Check out the Mommy, 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 mommy. To get something done, you need at least one hour of quiet time. What can we do? The coronavirus is here. Things still need to be done. Bugs need to be removed and urgent things need to be handled. So, here are some tips to help you stay sane. Write some code. Fix some bugs and still leave your kids happy. Here we go. Get organized. Make a schedule, not strict, but something you can follow. Have an emergency entertainment plan ready. The structure will help you from losing sanity and the backup plan should prevent all hell from breaking loose. Next one. Rhythm. When things are out of control, even us grown-ups feel safer if there is some kind of rhythm something we can expect every day. Even in extreme times, we can formulate some kind of a rhythm, create a new routine for this new reality. Time blocking also works great for me. Just remember that kids have a short attention span. Be sure to break up the day. Don't try to make an eight hour chunk as a workday. Smaller chunks are necessary. And have flexible expectations in place. Above all, have patience and remember this is just temporary. It won't be perfect, it won't be easy, but it will be a time you will always remember. Understand that you are not going to be productive during the same amount of time as normal, as you will be interrupted. It's inevitable. Make a plan to do your work, maybe during chores or playtime, when they are occupied. And have a partner who also works from home so you can share the work week. But well, don't try to find one now if you are single. And don't expect to do it all. Be kind to yourself. Squeeze in your work time either in the mornings or in the evenings if the kids are not old enough to understand boundaries and semi-care for themselves. Self-care. You can't pour from an empty cup. Maybe you can squeeze in a nap when they sleep in the afternoon or you can make yourself a bath after they fall asleep. Anything that nurtures your soul. And give younger kids 20 to 30 minutes of real attention every 60 to 90 minutes and many will give you that 60 to 90 minutes to work. I also pulled the playroom table next to my desk and call it her office to work next to mama. Invite them into the world of coding with Tinker or Scratch. Headphones are also great during this time. Noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones do miracles. Be flexible and know that it's going to be an adjustment. Give yourself grace. Don't be too hard on yourself and don't expect to get as much done as usual. It can feel hard to pull yourself away, but take time to spend some good time with them. Fill the little tanks first at the beginning of each day. Before you know it, they will likely be ready to run off to do their own thing. Schedule important bonding time so your children feel like they aren't neglected. When they feel connected, they will be more willing to cooperate with you and they will feel safe to do their own thing and we need them to do their own thing. When I get overwhelmed, it also helps me to know that I don't have to be perfect. All I have to be is an okay mom and an okay co-worker. Did you know that okay meant zero kills during the First World War? Zero killed is okay with me. Now it's the best time to teach them creativity. Boredom is the best teacher of creativity. Studies confirm that boredom could lead to better creativity. Remember, this is a great learning experience, both for you and your kid. What can you learn from it? So this is it. These are my tips and tricks. 
I'm super curious about what works for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.